And we're back with part two of our playthrough of episode five of a Tale of Anniera Retribution. I'm on Wise Al. Um, as I said earlier, this is our second attempt through this as we had some issues with the save files earlier. But basically, we survived the first day, and now we're going to bring some pain. With any luck. Still a bit loud. You never can get that right. Well, that's not a lot of pain, Phelan. What are you doing? I've lost the music. What's going on? Ah, there you go. I know you're all missing it. That's better. That's more like it. It always helps when you don't get slowed. Alright. I feel like I don't really have enough force to... Oh, whatever. Let's try. Just get the feeling that this could go horribly wrong over here. Three three versus twenty one. That's a good way to get yourself killed. Three four is not much better. Level one units, they're not that great. Speaking of level one units, let's get some more. It's gonna be a while till we get any more recruits, so we probably should have brought Vaniera back earlier. Also might bring our Tempest back in, even though she's a little bit damaged, just because we're going to want the damage. This is our this is our big chance to inflict it. That's right, mate. Keep missing. Dang. So the blue guys are the main threat. The pink guys and the green guys, apart from the hippos, are really just an annoyance. And the hippos, are, oh, they're, um, they're a bit of a tank that we're going to have to want to deal with because they'll do that to my guys. Ouch. Damn, I hate the hippos. Who let them in here? It was me, wasn't it? Maybe I shouldn't have gone out of my way to trigger them. Uh... Well, probably I shouldn't have gone out of my way to trigger them, but it's done now. Good kill, ghosty. Okay. Kill, kill, kill! No, that's not a kill. Oh dear. 
Okay. That's not kill either. What is? What are you guys doing? Come on. Slowed. God, I hate it when I'm slowed. That that's really not really not how we were really hoping this turn was gonna go. We didn't do anywhere near enough damage there as we needed to to make this even moderately possible. It's gonna be really tough from now. That's not what I did. There. That's it, good kill. Well, at least those guys over there did well. See if we just get destroyed for that. So this Decurion here, sorry, this uh, Signifer there, he makes it light around him so that the Lavinians aren't quite affected this t by time of day around him, which is a little bit uncomfortable for me um, in the middle of the night, so I do want to try and kill them off if I get a chance. Oh, there we go. Oh, that was that was that was close. Still, all together, that's this is going really well. Um, you know, like that that last turn wasn't uh, as hopeful as you know, wasn't quite as productive as we would have hoped, but. We didn't lose anything too important, and uh, we got a couple of nice level ups there, so we're all very happy. Now we'll be particularly happy if this warrior, uh, this uh, fighter, can come through here and kill him. Yes. Okay, because that gives us a herald. You gotta love this lightning. You gotta love it. Vaniera, that wasn't really what I was looking for you to do. You can see this um, this auxiliar is getting seven three because he's next to the leader now. Excellent. It's always hard to work out quite how much you power you throw forward, given that you you never quite know where the enemy is going to target um, you know, come the next turn. But I feel like we've got this balance about right. By the bad rubbish. Uh, now, so this Tempest is here healing up, and I could.
could go after that hippo. There's not a lot of other things that could hurt me, actually. Got to worry about one archer and that hippo. Gee, for that kind of damage, you'd do it, wouldn't you? Yeah, that's, that's handy. And hey, we can even send this ghost in. gonna die but hey that's a that's a big hippo down that's well, that's great Those ghosts really are amazing. Their defense is just too good. Um, but I'll take advantage of it now and um, show you all how it's done, and then I'll fix them so that when you try to play it, uh, it'll be too hard. Yes, that's how we play. That's the advantage of being the campaign maintainer. Okay, daytime. Still plenty of blue guys around. We're going to beat a hasty retreat here. question is how hasty just gonna fall back behind this general sort of line here if we can definitely get Vaniera back from some heals as well This guy, what do I? Resist the temptation. When in doubt, resist the temptation. Lost too many, t lost this level too many times in the past to uh, to tr to want to try and want to try and overstretch on it. So we are running out of guys, um, but that's what happens. But we have killed a lot more of the enemy than they've killed of us too. So yeah, I was kind of hoping that Auxilla would uh, survive that and level up. But you don't win them all. Yeah, I left my Herald there uh, so that he would give bonus to Ox the Auxilla, but now, of course, I've left him in danger, but that's okay. We should be able to pull him out. I think we will fall back to the next line, though, because we're not getting ourselves anywhere here. The ghost's also not very good in the daytime, but good enough for the job here. Fighting a couple of hippos, should be okay. See that war mage is just... Wouldn't you rather have a rain dancer? Or at least a wind lash, I mean. Oh dear, that's why we don't fight Lavinians in the daytime.
little bit of heal from those villagers is going to be greatly appreciated here. Close, but no cigar. Good work, Athos. Nice. That's some that's some good lightning right there. That was possibly a little bit ambitious. Probably should have been looking to fall back again there. Yep, there goes War Mage. Oh, and they're going after my Tempest. Okay. Good work. Gee, it's going to be close, Phelan. Of course, if you lose Phelan, you lose the game, because um, he's a hero unit. Because only so far you can use a guy as a tank. Um, before you have to start thinking about maybe saving his hide. Same with Athos, you don't lose if you lose him, but he's a handy guy to have around in a in a pitch. In a pinch? A pinch. Okay, so sadly it's getting to date it's getting to night time and we're just thinking about saving our own guys, um, rather than thinking about destroying the enemy ones. But Maybe we can do a little bit of both. Maybe. Oh, 11 damage is a lot. Hippos have terrible, terrible um, movement on the forest, so not too worried about them in the forest. Cool, rain dancer lives, that's it. And now it's night time and we can should be able to pretty much destroy the last of the hippos in that there. Uh, the last of those few little green units, he says as he loses his herald. Ouch. Shield smack. Still, this is looking pretty good and we're uh, just about halfway through time-wise. So we're going to be, I'd say we're probably going to be pushing a little bit to get this done by time. But it's gone pretty well.
Oh, nice. Can you finish it off, Alephus? Yes, he can. And level up. Perfect. I think I might leave the Ancient there to deal with that horseman and just use this guy to grab some villages because the uh, economic... The ep ec we're going to need some money in order to finish this level now because we've really quite lost a, lost a large number of guys. So just to bring these guys back into the battle just a little bit more. Give us a chance to heal Vanier as well. So you can see the um, it's about getting lucky um, a little bit, but you you just you need to keep the good terrain and trust rely that the seed excellent defense in the terrain is going to get you there. It doesn't always get you there like that. Um, you know it's unfortunate to lose a tempest, but that's what happens. Sometimes you trade these things for a few enemy units and it's just well hard to know if it's worthwhile but you got to, you got to move forward or you're going to run out of time um, the conceit here is that uh, you got to finish inside the time limit or the Libyans are going to get reinforcement legions or something oh, die die see I'm very bloodthirsty don't I Kill it. That's it. Okay, now we try and get a few more villagers up here. And hope we've got enough force there to kill the green leader in his keep. Not 100% confident of that, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, I suspect that the uh, Lavinian won't want to attack us there just because of the... Uh, how much retaliation damage he's going to get from Athos if he tries, which is nice. But that's the end of the night time, so we are going to have to fight the rest of these guys in the day, and they just keep coming. That's not killing. Come on, kill. Excellent.
Ah, oh, we let that guy get off of the water. A bit unfortunate. Uh, can we just fight him there? How's it gonna? Why not? I think I should be um, probably looking at finishing this video up about now, actually. Um, probably getting to about half an hour, aren't we? Uh, so, end of these Lavinian turns. Uh, I'm going to end up the end up this portion of the video, and uh, in the third one we should get pretty close to finishing it off, I reckon. Maybe we'll need a fourth, but uh, certainly we should be making some significant progress um, come the end of the next video. Um, so, we're 19 turns in. We're going to be into 20 turns by the end of the... Oh! Oh, oh, that's just, oh, okay. Uh, anyway, we're 20 turns in, and we just lost another Tempest, so we're really running out of firepower here, but uh, we're going to keep giving it a try.